Welcome back to my channel. Now today I'm recreating a look from the brand new Pretty Girls music video from Iggy Azalea and Britney Spears or Britney Spears and Iggy Azalea, however you want to say it, okay? But I decided to recreate this non-wearable but wearable for me look from Iggy where she's in that kind of uh, futuristic gal galaxy type of thing going on. So it's all silver everywhere, very frosty, very glittery, very shimmery, whole lot of contour, whole lot of highlight. So if you are interested in learning how to complete this whole look, well keep on watching. So the first thing I'm doing is I'm going to use a base. I'm using the Eternal Silver Color Tattoo. And mine was a little bit dry, so what I did is just spray a little bit of Fix Plus and it actually turned into like liquid metal. That's a trick if you are having a little bit of issue with your color tattoo drying out. So as you can see, I'm being very generous onto the lid. I'm applying it kind of very like freely and underneath the lower lash line as well. And as you can see right now, I'm just blending up the color upwards and actually it's gonna go a little bit onto your brow, so don't worry about it. I'm even going to lighten up my brows later on. After right on top, I'm going to use one of my favorite silver eyeshadows. This is Blingo from Benefit and I'm basically applying that everywhere I've applied the silver color tattoo base. After it's applied, I'm taking a very big, or I would say like medium <laughs> shaped brush, and I'm just kind of diffusing the color outwards. Into the inner corners, I'm using Crystal Avalanche, which is gonna make the silver a little bit lighter, and it's going to make my eyes appear larger, and add a whole lot of shimmerness going on into the corners of my eyes. Onto the waterline, of course, I'm going with Fascinating, a white eye coal from MAC, and I'm being, once again, very generous with it. Let's move on to the highlight. I'm taking Moonstone from Becca, which is a very kind of light champagne color, and I'm being extremely, but extremely generous. So I'm applying it right above the brow, a whole lot onto the cheekbones, and I'm even taking a little bit of silver color and adding it onto it. And here it is, right now I'm, you know, lightening up my brows. I believe this is the lightest color from uh, MAC, which is a waterproof brow set. You could use whatever you want. You could even use a little bit of concealer on a spoolie and brush it in there. I wanted even more glitter and shimmer, so I'm taking Grand Tiara from Sugar Pill and applying it mostly onto the lid and after I'm once again I'm blending the color upwards right onto my temples and as you can see it does add a whole lot of you know beautiful shimmerness going on for the lashes I wanted something very subtle so I'm going to take wispy me away from velour which is one of my favorite lash brand ever you know my love for velour is true girl and these lashes are amazing especially if you have small lids and small eyes there's just the perfect size as for the blush i'm taking something rather new or something i had <laughs> in my kit that i didn't really use because it is a very very light it is the bareness extra dimension blush from mac i'm telling you if you are of a medium skin tone or darker this is not going to work for you even on my skin tone i had to work the product in and add layers and layers and layers, but it does have a nice shimmer to it, so this is the reason why I decided to go with it. Let's move on to the lips. I'm using the 24-7 eyeliner uh, in a cuff, which is a silver color from Urban Decay, and I really like their 27 liners because they glide so well onto the skin, and I'm not just talking about the eyes, they do glide very well onto the lips as well. And after that you've lined them, I'm going to take my clear lip tar from OCC and a little bit of Grand Tiara and I'm just mixing them two together and applying it quite generously onto the lips so I have a very kind of a robotic silvery lip. 
And then the look is pretty much done, but I'm going to do the look as it was in the video. So adding a whole lot of jewels. I'm not too sure if the jewels Iggy had on her face were, were kind of round or other shapes, but basically apply them everywhere onto the lid and on the temples. And that's it. This is the look pretty easy if you want to recreate it. And if you are wondering where I took my... Um, Jewels, these are actually real Swarovski Swarov, 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 crystals that I took from Michaels. Now, of course, you could use other cheap ones. I use the bigger ones, are actually from a nail type of uh, jewelry wheel, if that makes any sense. Let me just close it before I show you. So it looks like something like this. I took big ones from. Let me put it close to my face. So the bigger ones are actually fake. I don't know if you see in the, how they um, reflect light. The real crystals are definitely going to sparkle more. The false ones are still have a little bit of, you know, sparkle to them. But if you are looking for the very sparkly thing, spend a little bit more and get the real ones. But um, I don't know why I spent a little bit more on real ones because these are all going to come out in about like 15 minutes. So... But anyways, hopefully you love this tutorial and love the song. I love the song. I think it's a summer jam, pretty girls. And I just can see myself in my yellow car just, uh, yeah, all my pretty girls, mm, mm, with my girls in the back and the windows down and just woo 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 woo. Enough craziness. It's time to go. I'll see you later. Bye. And you all should be excited as well because I'm doing what you guys requested. I'm doing a prom look and I'm wearing pink on my lips. Like, it's still a stop.